uh, today we'll see how we can import and export the AEM project from your Eclipse okay so you have created one project and now you want to import this project inside your Eclipse or uh, you want to run your AEM your AEM perspective in Eclipse then how we can do it so for that we know we already know that our uh, a our project is a AEM project that means it's a Maven project so whenever you want to import it just come here here you see now I'll show you my project okay so this is my project that is April this one is my project and inside that we have a lot of modules so if you want to import this module for that okay if you want to import this module uh, or uh, you want to import this project for that you have to come inside your Eclipse here we have options of file and here we have options of the import you can just simply click import and here after that uh, we have already created the project see this is the project that we already created by using a maven so this is our existing maven project just uh, search maven and after that here we have a lot of option just click here and next okay once you are clicking next uh, it will ask where it's your project so you have to browse it you have to browse just go inside your d drive and this this one is our project so you can just simply click this one select folder and once you select uh, here all the options will automatically select so what are what are this these are the palm files so you have to select all of these things okay and after that just simply finish it so it's taking some time for uh, importing so right now it's a zero so it will take some time for the import okay so it's imported and here you see so once it's import here we have options it's imported and after that here we have all modules core dispatcher test app so what are all the modules what are the module that is present inside your project this is your project and these are the modules so all the modules that is imported in your code so when uh, where is that code is present so code present inside your core folder here we have a core module you can just simply expand it and uh, after that once you expand this core so here you see so here we have a core just expand it and after that these are your packages and these are the concept filter is a concept listener model scheduler and the servlet if i open this servlet and double click here you see that these are the automatic generated packages and the classes see so we don't need to be write it see so here that all the stuff they have already created if you want to create the uh, servlet if you want to create one class that is servlet then you can just simply come here and you can create here after that if you if you want to create the sling model here we have a concepts of the sling model in AEM so if you want to create it you can just simply come in the model and just create it so all the backend whatever the backend if you want to write you can just simply come in the core and just write it after that here we have one concept that is apps and inside our apps all the projects that all the component that is stored inside your app module so if I'll try to expand it here you see these are our components this is a carousel button breadcrumbs uh, accordion uh, carousel container these are nothing but your component but this component are in deactive mode now so we have to activate so how we can activate so for that for that where we are right now we are in a eclipse okay and now what we want we want a AM perspective we want a AM so how we can take the AEM you can just simply come here inside help we have to download the AEM perspective okay no so you can just simply come inside the help and here we have options of the Eclipse marketplace or you can simply install a new software you have to click here once you click here we have to uh, write one path here we have to define one path so how we can define we have to add here add and here we have to define the path like AM perspective so this is deprecated that AM perspective nowadays is deprecated uh, Eclipse removed 
uh, from the marketplace so we have to download from the internet so you can just simply come here open it and here we have to type type am perspective in eclipse so you can just simply type once you type it will open some of the things you have to open one website yeah you can just simply click somewhere like here we have a this is the eclipse we need am where it is we have to go somewhere like a uh, one link is there we have to click in this link we have to try to find out it yeah this is you can just simply yeah this is the tool and here we have options so you can just simply here they're saying installation link right click here and just simply copy link address just uh, come back in your eclipse where it is yeah here you have to paste the code whatever you have http and just name it am perspective or perspective that is also okay add it so it will take some time and this option will open so you have to simply select it and just finish it will take some time and after that that next option will come so you have to click on this next option if this thing is finished no this jar file now it's a uh, now it's downloading something or loading it so once it uh, it will load completely that next option will open so you have to simply click in this next so once you click uh, they will ask for the download you can just simply download it and after that you have to restart the eclipse here you can just simply click it and here we have the options of the restart you just need to click here and once you open uh, your eclipse will open again so you can just simply click here in this uh, sorry here we have options of the perspective here you can just simply click here and that am option will open we have to click in this am and open it so once you open this am perspective will open okay so how you can recognize so that jcr property will be there that jcr property tab will be there that means this is your am perspective yeah it's done now the thing is uh, is done now 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 i want code here you see uh, this is our local instance this one is our am and this one is our eclipse now i want to from here if i change something if i'm going in my crxd and i'm creating one component consider i have created one component and this component i want inside here here i want the same project here we have options of the search and the same project i have imported here as well so now if I'm creating one component, consider this is the component. Now I'm creating it. So here I'm just naming it. This is our component, sample component I'm written, sample components uh, that I have written. Just simply click OK. Yeah, this is the thing. Now this component I have created. And if I'll try to go inside the apps, we already know what are the component that you are creating in the apps that all the component is stored in your app module so you have to come here and just try to see it here you have to see it but you want you won't find this component why because of you haven't imported so for that we have to import first but before that this all the component are in deactive mode so we have to activate so just go inside the apps right click here property option is there you have to click in the property and here we have the options of am click here and simply browse it see this is not our resultant path which one is our path that is source main content and the jcr root yeah and where it's going it's going inside that am sling is going inside your source main and the resource so this is not our path so we have to browse it why i'm doing this option when i'm right click here import and export option will open but if i'll try to click here now it that option won't open so for that we have to change the path uh, yeah so just browse it and go inside the apps till now uh, here this is the path we have source main content and the jcr root we have to go there so here we have a source main 
content and the JCR root. Just click and OK. Apply, apply and close. Now here you see. So if I'm try to click here, see, or uh, it's now it's opening the apps. Apps have search and search have our components. So if I open the components, all the components are opening. That means now is in active state. Before that it was in passive state. Okay. So if I still uh, I don't have this component, which one? Whatever the component that is sample component that I have created, this component wasn't here. It's not present inside your uh, inside your uh, project. So how you can take it? So for that we have to right click here. And once you are right clicking, we have to import. We have to import from the server. When you are importing from the server, uh, when you are clicking finish, this component will come. But before that, it's asking something and that is server. What is server? So if you are transferring from here, you are taking, you are fetching this code in the Eclipse. So we need some platform for transferring and uh, for receiving and transferring we need some platform and that is server so we have to create the server first if you create the server then you are easily import and export it so just come here and just create the server but i have created the server already now i'm just deleting this existing just uh, delete from here okay so i have deleted just simply click here in this options here server if you want to find the server just go inside your window here we have options of the show view of show view and uh, just try to find out the server here if it is not here just click in the other and just just type the server there so when you are typing the server that options will available here you see now i'm typing server see server is coming here just click here and just open it so this option will open just click simply here once you are clicking all the server that already existing this option will open okay so we already download the perspective that means this server is present somewhere so here we have a sling and inside this link we have a adobe experience manager so select this one and just click next and once you are clicking next which module you want to import and export so you have to select this module but here we don't have core but we needed core yeah here we don't have a code in uh, consider now i want to write one code and this code now i want to transfer in my eclipse okay so this model must be present in your server so for that uh, this model is not present so you just do one thing right click here inside the code properties and here we have a uh, options of the project facet click here convert facet from okay and here we have options of the bundle module you have to click here apply apply and close okay again just try to create the folder uh, server click here uh, we have a sling am next now this case we have options of the core now we got all the modules you have to just simply add all and just finish it okay so now you have created the pro, uh, server but we have to on it now this server is in on uh, stop mode so we have to on right click here and just start it yeah so now your server is in start mode yeah, so you just uh, come here in this apps uh, from where you want to import it so uh, whatever I have created inside our CRXD that means in my AEM this code I want here so for that uh, we have to import from the server you just click inside the import and just finish that means what you are doing so you are importing the content from your server and server that means your CRXD just uh, finished So now it's done, but in my case, it haven't shown any exception or
in my case it may not throwing any exception but you are in your case it may be throw some exception uh, for this server so you can just simply double click it here and here in this case i have changed the port number from 8080 to 8080 to 4502 so if it is not changeable uh, whatever the your am server is running on you have to change this version here just simply then it will may not throw the exception after that uh, now we have imported but what's about the export if you are returning some components or some code here and you want to export in your server so for that we have to go there so now just consider i'm creating one component so just right click new and here we have options of the component from here we have to type uh, search the cq component and after that here we have to write the name so i'm just using uh, uh, export component export component that i have created and i have saved it now where it is export component somewhere it must be present so this is our component here you see when i clicked here here this jci properties is open and here we have options of the jci primary type and that is cq type cq component so you can just simply uh, click here right click here and just export the export to server and just finish it now once you export it and this export it successfully you just go there in your uh, eclipse uh, crxd and just try to refresh it now which one uh, search is our project so just go there here we have options of the component and once you have imported here we have options of the export component see so this is the component that we have created click here and here you see the this is the this is our cq component